Hi, Dan Kazmenta here. Uh, super excited uh, this afternoon um, going in with uh, to a company. Um, a company I've worked with for quite some time and, and, and uh, a bunch of 10 to, I think 10 to 12 guys that uh, are really, I really get along with and uh, really value their time, the time that we spend together. Anyway, um, this afternoon we're going into a process of, of identifying how we can really raise that bar of, I suppose, personal inspiration or personal fulfillment at work. And I often talk about, uh, you know, a lot of the quality of the questions that we ask ourselves really does determine the quality of our lives because, you know, those types of questions really do dictate our focus, uh, what we focus on and what we don't focus on. So today, as you can see here, we're looking at ways of of building our own personal inspirations and our own personal uh, levels of fulfillment. Um, where we think about, when we think about, uh, let's say, inspiration versus motivation, you know, they sound, one may think that they sort of sound hand in hand and, and one of the same thing. Um, and I think there are definitely similarities. Uh, but when we look at it, when we think about motivation, uh, we could link motivation to things that are sort of outside of us. So those little things that are that are external to us, those types of incentives, be it financial, or some form of a bonus, uh, being feedback by somebody else or something else. Sort of a lot of motiva motivation comes from outside. Um, and if that's not there, then there are levels of inconsistency in motivation. What I do believe and what I think is more valuable is developing a sense of inspiration in all parts of our life. And when we find that place of inspiration, when we, we, we then in turn find that place of, I suppose, a deep level of fulfillment and there's the, the link between, you know, the link between, you know, motive, motive, uh, inspiration and fulfillment. And so how do we go about, you know, if we are struggling at work, if our motivation is waning, or if we are experiencing a bit of stress or a bit of angst, or um, you know, we don't necessarily like what we're noticing in and around the workplace. We don't like the job. There, there might be some conflicts with the job descriptions that that uh, that we are currently participating that, that make up our job role. Just imagine that if you could link your current job role, your current job description to the things that you really value in life. Do you think that would raise your sense of inspiration and fulfillment in your life, in the context of your work? I would say, say like 90% like of people that do this type of process, uh, it's an emphatical yes. Very, very simple process tool, technique, around finding out firstly uh, what your job description is, number one. Secondly, identifying uh, what your three highest values are, and I've shared some videos in the past about how you can go ahead and identify what your what your what your highest little values are, what your real purpose is in life, and then starting to create the link between the things that you really do value and that of your job description, which is quite fantastic. You'll start to notice certain things at an unconscious level that you aren't yet uh, that you aren't yet or that you haven't yet been conscious of. And then thinking about, if you know it, the, the vision and the mission of the business, uh, having that clearly clearly mapped out, and linking, you know, how is the vision and mission of the business, or working towards the vision and the mission of the business, of direct value and benefit to those three things, or those three highest values in your life, and getting a series of 10 to 30 responses uh, for those types of questions. Remember, the quality of the questions really do determine the quality of your life. Um, if you want to find out specifically how to take this process into your workplace or a bit of how for you to, you know, how to do this one-on-one -on -one to raise your sense of inspiration and fulfillment uh, at work, please make sure you get in contact with me. Email me at dean at deancasamento.com.au or jump onto my website at www.deancasamento.com.au. If I don't hear from you, I look forward to seeing you shortly. Take care. Bye.